So when you open DaVinci Resolve 18, you see this library, you're gonna create your folders. So how can you do this? Click on your right, and you're gonna say new folder. So let's make a folder in 2023. And in this folder, you're gonna create a new folder. And why are we doing this? Because you want to stay organized uh, because when you have a lot of projects, let's uh, say weddings, then you uh, want to find everything really quick. Now, if you click on this, you go all the way, let me see, you go all the way back to your library. Let's go to 23 weddings. And there we want to create a new project, weddings 2023. Now we are in DaVinci Resolve and I want to keep this very simple for you, so follow along. The first thing that we're gonna do is, we want to see DaVinci uh, in the whole screen, all right? So now we just only see it with the white line down here, but if you go to workspace, you can click on full screen window and boom, you have a full screen. Now I'm gonna explain you these different uh, tabs right up here. So let's start with the media tab. In here you can start to import your media and to organize your media, name your media, you can make keywords, you can make smart bins. So if you don't know where I'm talking about, uh, it's okay, I'm gonna explain you everything in the next coming videos. So then we have the cut page, in here you do your cutting, like it says, the cut page, but it has some really helpful tools to make the cutting going way faster and more easy. Then we go to the edit page. This is the page that I use the most. In this page, you have everything that you need to edit a really nice film. Then we go to the fusion tab and this tab is a bit more advanced because in this tab, you can start to create, for example, 3D effects, uh, 3D titles, um, some complex uh, graphics you can create. This uh, you can compare to After Effects in Adobe. One thing that I need to say is this software is like very heavy for your computer. So you really need a strong video card and computer to run this smooth. Then we go to the Corel tab and obviously in this tab, uh, you can uh, start to color grade your footage, but you can also import some other cool effects. So let's go to the Fairlight. This is the Fairlight tab. And in here I do all my sound design. And then you have the delivery tab. So when the film is finished, you go this, to this tab and you can start to export your film. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to set our frame rate, okay? So I live in Europe, so my timeline will be 25 frames per second. If you live in uh, the US, probably you're working on a 24 frames per second timeline. Open this setting right up here. You have the project settings. And if you go to master settings, you can set your timeline resolution. So I work 1920 by 1080 HD. The rest I always leave to the, just the standard settings. I change nothing. The only thing that I changed is the timeline frame rate. Okay? For now, uh, just keep it as it is. We want to save the settings so once we have a new project that this setting is automatically saved. So you go to the three dots right up here. So you want to set the current settings as a default preset, okay? So let's update this and save it. So I restarted the software. Let's see, boom, boom, you see 25 frames per second. So the first thing that you want to do right now is you want to start importing your video clips. So you can do this on many different ways. I show you a few ways and then I show you the way that I use the most. First, you go here to your media tab then you go to master and in your master you can start to create bins, okay? You can name these bins, let's say project and then you can go in that bin and you can start to name a bin again and you can say footage for example. And if you go to the left, you see that you created the project bin and if you click on this arrow, boom, you go to your footage. And in this bin right here, we want to import video clips. So you can click on your right and you can import media right up here. 
So I have some media right up, boom, I just grab something and then I open it. And then it says, change the project frame rate. So because I shot on a 50 frames per second, Da Vinci tells you, do you want me to make a timeline of 50 frames per second or don't, you don't want to change it and you want to leave it on 25 frames per second. So I want to leave it on 25 frames per second. So I don't want to change it. We are still on 25. Okay. So, so far, very easy, very clear. But guys, you can do this way faster. Okay, I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. Let's delete this. You're gonna go to your cut page and then you can import right up here, you can import your media or you can import a media folder. So what I already did is in my um, workspace right up here, I created already a folder with the whole structure, with all the media, with all the music, with all the audio files, everything I already did in this folder because that saves me a lot of time. So if I click this folder, select folder, no, I don't want to change the frame rate, boom. He automatically imported every single folder with all the media. So right up here, I go to my edit page. Uh, you see that these folders have a name with meaning, okay? Some are very obvious, of course, the audio is obvious, the footage, the music, the final edit, so my final product, I always put in the final edit. But then I have these two right up here. This is the playground and this, these are the selections, right? So let's say I want to import all my media for the first day. So then I'm gonna go to selections, I'm going to click on my right and I want to work in a new timeline. I want to create a new timeline and I'm going to name it day one. So you see right up here, I created a new timeline day one. So where is the timeline you will think? Okay. So by selection right up here, you see the timeline. But you can also see the timeline when you click on this icon right up here. Uh, you have different views. If you click on the left one, boom, you see the timeline day one. And a very useful thing is that you can create multiple timelines. Okay. And you can switch between them. Now I want to go to my footage and I want to make an selection of all my footage right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this footage and I'm going to import them into my timeline day one. So we are still in this timeline up here. So this is where all my selections go. Once I did my selections for day one, day two, like these are like big selections. Um, then I go to my playground. I'm going to create a new timeline create a new timeline and I'm going to always say like playground one. Okay. And what does this mean? This means that in this playground, I see it really as a playground. I can mix music. I can mix clips. I can take clips from day one, put them there and start to build a story but a story where I can play, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. It needs to be not perfect, but I need to get a structure uh, in my mind. I can do whatever I want. Sometimes I have like five or six playgrounds. One thing that I do always to keep it organized and to keep the overview is once I selected my uh, clips in day one and I want to put this clips in my playground because I want to start to create a story. I want to start to edit uh, the pancake way. They call it like, pancake editing. So how can you do this? So let's delete uh, playground one. And I want playground one under my day one selections. So I'm going to hit this folder up here. And you see, boom, it created a pancake timeline. How cool is that? Very easy. Now I'm going to select 
my selection timeline and don't go immediately in your day one and put this in your timeline because it's gonna create a new timeline. You see that up here? Boom. Because we don't want that, we are created already a timeline in our playground and we're gonna double click and you see now we have the timeline playground one. And now you can start to move clips around from day one to playground one. All right, so this is the folder structure that I have. This is how I import a really quick and easy media. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna dive in a bit deeper in everything and I'm gonna explain some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna see you there.